Why does it take so long to load? Hello guys, welcome back, and this is of course Jay Jossness. And today I started a Blocksburg mall in my Blocksburg town. And as I was making this mall, I thought of some tips that I could possibly share with you. So in this video, I'm showing you some of those tips to help start make your own Blocksburg mall. Also, guys, something to keep track of my mall is gonna be probably way smaller than your mall because my mall is in a town that has multiple buildings around it. And if you have a whole plot dedicated to one mall, then your mall is probably gonna be way bigger than mine. So yeah. So guys, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do, it doesn't seem like the first thing, but it really is. You want to write down a list of things or shops you want it to include in your mall. Now, I have a sketchbook. I use that a lot uh, to like plan out my town, and it was really key in the planning out like the certain stuff I want in my mall. I promise you this will help you later on because this gives you such an idea of what your mall will futurely come out of and it'll also give you such inspiration to keep on building. So guys, here is my list. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is clearly not, but yeah. Now the second thing actually involves you hopping on the Blocksburg and you also want to keep in mind the list that you made for the first step. You want to make the shape, just the outside shape of your mall. And you want to ask yourself these questions. Is it big enough to hold all the stores I want to? And is it just big in general? And do I like the shape? And also, if you are doing this in a town like I am doing it, is it big enough compared to buildings? Is it too small enough compared to buildings? So, yeah, that's why I say building the shape also helps. And also having what you want to have in your mall helps this step as well. Now here is footage of me making my outline shape, and I really like my outline shape. I mean, it has a nice dimension to it that I, I like. So, this is the third thing. All malls have certain plots where certain stores would go. Now, today is your job to make those certain plots where certain stores would go. You don't really have to necessarily think about which stores just yet, but if you have a huge food court, make that a very open space where people could eat. And if you have a very big store that you plan to do, you could possibly make that two stories of the mall. So you have things like that. Just plan out the rooms, just the plots. You don't have to really think about exactly which door is going to be which until later. Now it is the fourth thing. The fourth thing is to assign certain like plots, what you did in the third step, to certain stores. So which stores are going to be the most prominent? These most prominent stores are probably like clothing stores. That's why you see like a Macy's taking up half of the store while everything else is smaller. Or if you have a very small store, let's say you have like a little bank, you would include that in a smaller plot. So these are some things to think about, which are the most prominent and which are not. An example is what I'm going to show here. My clothing store, like my Macy's or whatnot, that takes up two stories of my entire mall because it's just so big. And many times when you think of a mall, you think of a clothing store. So that's why I make my clothing store so big in comparison to my mall. So those are just some things to think about when you're doing this. Now, here's a thing that is like not really much of a mandatory step. It's more like budgeting. How much is stuff going to cost? In this, I spent a lot of money, exactly $50,000 just on escalators. If you plan to have escalators in your mall, that's going to cost you a lot of money. If you have like four escalators, that's $50,000 right there. Also, elevators are now added, and elevators are also pretty expensive. You could argue they're more expensive than elevator escalators, or depending on which one you choose. So... Budgeting is really important. You also want to kind of budget in which shops are going to be very expensive. Say you have a shop that each product's a lot, like say you have an Apple store, those computers cost a lot of money compared to say a toy store, which the toys cost a decent amount of money. So budgeting is also a really smart thing to think of. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Planning mall is kind of simple, but here are just a few suggestions that I think you should do to really make your mall grand, big, and impressive. 
So when planning your mall, making it two stories or three stories will be very nice. Making like the food court place especially too have high, high ceilings, like two story ceilings. That will make your mall seem very grand. And also, speaking of the food court, I don't think you should have really much of a food court in like this one closed off space. I think your food court should be very open. But these are just suggestions. You can make your mall very unique. Change it up. But these are suggestions that I personally like to see in a mall. Now, from the interior, this may not be as important, but from the esky e exterior, it is going to be very important. Having windows. Windows make your mall seem more inviting, more airy, more friendly. Having windows in your mall will completely change it. So yeah, having a lot of windows is not mandatory or anything. I just personally like that. And my last tip. It's the least mandatory tip at all, but if you could do it, I suggest doing it. Having a glass roof somewhere. And my mall, as you see, I could have had a balcony second floor, but that will cover up and block a lot of space. And space is very valuable in my little mall. So I literally put a glass roof on top of it, and people will walk across that glass roof. But it doesn't have to be in that sort of context. It could even be in a context of just having a skylight, because skylight brings in so much air and so much like modernity to uh, your mall. It's like windows. So uh, something else to think about with a glass roof. So guys, I just want to show you what I did for my layout to the mall. So guys, we are logging on to Blacksburg. And yeah, let's see my mall layout. So guys, this used to be the hair salon and this used to be like the clothing store. But now like that's all kind of integrated into the mall. Now uh, I'm going to show you like how I built the mall layout. I actually really like this shape as I stated in the video. Okay. So, uh, the lighting, yeah, the lighting definitely needs to be fixed. But, this is how our mall layout looks. Now, this is going to be a section here. Uh, right over here is going to be a section. And this is starting to look really nice. So, yeah, this is uh, my food court area. It was going to be two stories. But then I said I need a second floor. So, I just put a nice glass roof over it. And this is going to be each, like, store or whatnot. And then people are going to eat right here. Now, if we go up the expensive escalators, the second floor is really quite nice, too. When you walk over the nice glass roof, there's probably going to be some seating here. There's one, two, three, four stores up here. And, yeah. And then the third floor, the final floor. Uh, and I may make this four stories, but I think three stories is nice enough. The third floor is going to be uh, more stores. And this is kind of more open because it just doesn't have, like, the two-story effect. So I made it more open. So, you guys, this is the model that we're going to be working on. It's going to be probably over the course of many videos. But I'm really excited to start this. So, yeah, let's go back to the actual video. So, guys, yes, that is it. That is, like, all my tips and suggestions I have for starting up a mall in Bloxburg. Now, you don't have to do these tips. These, again, are just suggestions. But you can make your mall unique in a way. You can make your mall, like, a jungle theme or whatnot. Or make it, like, a jungle savant. I don't know. But these are just suggestions that I think I personally like in a mall. If you want to change it up, you can. But this has been Jay Jocinus, and I'll see you in the next video.